It used to be that you'd hear all this talk about who was the fastest gun. It was almost like you hear people talk about sports stars today, but not really. Oh, there was a lot of saloon talk and dime novels and such, but back then, good folk weren't fond of gunmen as a rule, no matter what side of the law they was on. Not in public, anyhow. Anyways, back then, my father was a U.S. Territorial Court judge. We traveled all through the new territories, holding court in these temporary kind of makeshift courtrooms set up in schoolhouses, saloons, and, and churches and such. I saw a whole bunch of rough and rowdy country just when it was getting civilized. My daddy used to say that people weren't much better than animals, but it was the law that made us men. Turned out that growing up, I got to see all the so-called fast guns, and they was all fast, but I can tell you sure as I'm sitting here that the fastest gun I ever saw was a little two-bit outlaw by the name of William Wesley Longbaum. Everyone just called him Little Bill because he always hung around with this giant of a man who went by the name Bill Smith. Big Bill, he wouldn't hurt a fly, but Little Bill had a mean streak a mile wide. When I saw him, Little Bill was getting quite a rep and the local law was afraid to rein him in. I remembered they called in this deputy U.S. Marshal to get the job done. Actually, the sheriff asked for a company of rangers, but all they got was the one marshal. Now this marshal didn't look like no one special and weren't anyone who gave him any chance at all in a straight up fight, but they couldn't talk the man out of going right on over and taking Little Bill on. He picked the warrants up at the local sheriff's office and headed down the street to the saloon where Little Bill was playing cards. Now someone must have told Little Bill what was up because he was a waiting out front when the marshal came round. As soon as he saw the marshal, he stepped out into the street, just like they show in the movies nowadays. He was a yelling about how no one was going to take him alive and such, and the marshal, calm as you please, just shook his head and said little Bill was blowing things all out of proportion and not to be stupid. All of a sudden, little Bill pulled leather and let fly. I ain't never seen anything like that draw. I didn't see it then, really. It was so fast. Well, when that first shot went off, People went everywhere to get behind cover. The marshal now, he just planted his feet like some kind of stupid statue. People thought his brains must have been addled from seeing how fast little Bill was. But the marshal had a look in his eye that didn't sound addled to me. Little Bill fanned the hammer and the marshal, real deliberate-like, reached down and pulled this ancient pistol out. Little Bill emptied his first gun and drew his second faster than a rattlesnake on a rat. He, he fired once from the hip and, and started to raise his gun for a steady shot, but the marshal drew bead with a slow, two-handed grip and shot little Bill dead center. <laughs> Damnedest thing I ever saw. Yep, little Bill Longbomb was the fastest gun there ever was for sure. I don't recollect I ever knew who that marshal was.